All right, hello, welcome back to the channel. Really excited to announce another new product here in our Stable Level Avionics lineup. It's the Touch Bracket. It's finally here and I'm gonna tell you all about it. So once again, welcome back to the channel here. Uh, excited to come out with another new product. I think you guys know my saying here, we either innovate or we die. Uh, we keep evolving and, and we're excited about this new partnership. Uh, so this partnership, it's a collaboration with, with Russ Barlow. If you don't know about Russ, definitely check out the description of this video to follow his YouTube channel. Russ is a great guy. He's an awesome gentleman. And I'm really excited that he reached out to me to, to talk about this new opportunity. So. Uh, some of you know, you know, obviously our panels, they, they cost what they do cost. Our, our prices are what they are. They're about $1,000 for our panels in the marketplace. Um, customers, they love them. They're happy with them. I enjoy making them. Uh, it's definitely a high quality product. But, you know, Russ and I have been talking about how do we make this more accessible to everybody, right? How do we make aviation uh, and really just the simulation element of it in your home more accessible for more people? And so that drives a lot, a lot of price and cost discussions and things like that, right? It, it just does. Um, and so we come up with a, what we think is actually a pretty neat concept. And uh, you know, this, this is all, all credit to Russ here. We're, we're just making the brackets. Um, but basically it's this concept that you can take a honeycomb yoke or a honeycomb throttle. This also works with the Logitech yoke if you have one of those. But there are these mounting holes at the top. There's six of them. Uh, they're an M4 screw. You go ahead, you unthread each of them it's as simple as that and uh, these screws they come out what we sell you is we actually sell you this bracket uh, that's basically um, powder coated it's made from steel it's uh, already uh, basically bent and everything to the angle of a monitor it's got all the holes to mount the VESA Wixamit monitor as well as the knobster here and then this whole piece actually mounts directly to the top of the yoke and we give you the hardware to thread in these new screws right into the top here. Really, really nice, really slick. So we give you all the screws to mount uh, the knobster to the actual product. We give you the screws to mount the monitor to the plate, uh, our touch bracket. And then we give you the screws to mount the touch bracket to the actual uh, yoke itself. And I have one here that's actually put together and I'd like to show it to you here. So this, this is actually it here. This is a, uh, an all glass front panel. Uh, you, you get these on Amazon, USB-C, touch enabled. And then this here is the Knobster from Sim Innovations Air Manager. And so this, this product is, is really cool. You can see the bracket here. Uh, this is the bracket. It's got a really unique design to it. And then this here is the actual product altogether. And, and you would basically take this and you would mount or thread all these four, uh, excuse me, six screws, six M4 screws right into the top here. And it will secure this entire unit uh, to being one. So once again, we give the Allen keys. We'll go ahead, I'll just tighten this down here with one, one bolt here real quick. And um, this, is, this is a cool, affordable solution, guys, right? So. For somebody who doesn't have the full space for a tabletop avionics panel from us, they don't want to go full bore with the full G1000, uh, you know, that's obviously a significant investment. They can do something like this with the touch monitor uh, as well as the Knobster. And so the idea here is you actually use some innovations air manager, it's connected to your computer. Uh, you get your whole avionics set up, you can have a nice six pack, steam gauge, whatever you like to have there. And then it's touch screen. So, you touch the area that you would spin, and, and you, you can see here, you know, so this is, this whole thing now becomes one unit. Okay, so look at this. I can take this whole thing off of my desk, okay, and it's got our Slavix. So there's a few things here. There's one, there's the Slavix plate under here. That allows my honeycomb mounting pad to not stick to my desk, okay? And that allows me to just, like I did, take my yoke off, Put it back on really easy. Same thing for the throttle. This is our single plate. Okay, so if you get them, take these things on and off, buy a single plate. The other thing, short little USB connection, USB-C to USB-A. And what I do with that actually is I have a hub on the back 
of the Bravo right here that both of these connect into. And then I have one USB-C connection right into my computer. So it's, it's all about making these things as sleek as possible and, uh, and making it super accessible. So, so that's with our Slavic's plate. So anyways, so you can take that, you can put it right back here onto your desk. And then I've got this nice little leather uh, piece here to, to prevent the, uh, the desk as well from getting any scuffs or scratches on it. Those are, those are on Amazon, they're pretty cheap, they're like 20 bucks. But anyway, so you basically, you can, you can put all six uh, screws in here. I'm just threading this one in here now real quick. And, uh, and basically this whole thing's not going anywhere. So that, that all goes there. So you, you get this whole thing set up. So like I was mentioning, you got SIM Innovations Air Manager, you get your six pack locked up. You know, if you want to adjust your altimeter, you, you push here for the altimeter adjustment and then you can actually make the adjustment. You can load up a virtual 530 unit and a 430 unit. You push what you want to do from like a direct to perspective. You put it in, you spin it, knobs, just everything like you do today. Um, you know, with, I'll call it uh, air manager and a touchscreen panel. It just, everything mounts now to this solution here. It's really straightforward, really easy. I'm super pumped about Russ uh, and our relationship and us being able to do it. So, so Russ, what he's gonna do, he's gonna promote this on his channel. So be on the lookout for Russ's channel. He's gonna be promoting it. Uh, I just wanted to quickly talk about the bracket itself. This is our new touch bracket, how it mounts to the actual units. Once again, we give you all the hardware, so all you need to get is the Wixamit monitor, you need to get your Knobster unit here, and once again, like I mentioned, there's a USB hub on the back of the honeycomb, you can take your, your uh, USB-C to USB-A out of your Knobster, and you can even plug that right here into the Bravo throttle. So you kind of have everything contained right here in this little setup, which is, which is actually pretty sweet, and it gives you a lot of power. Uh, Air Manager, um, you know, they're gonna be coming out with support, uh, from Microsoft Flight Simulator here, and uh, and that's really exciting to see. Obviously, they support X-Plane and all that kind of stuff. So this whole community is uh, growing. This was our ability to be able to try to get in, continue to drive innovation and development in this place for somebody who doesn't want to spend a lot of money on a full-blown panel. Uh, this is a great entry product to do. Uh, you know, you could even, if you really wanted to, like I even have set up here, you could actually get two of these touch brackets and, uh, and we'll run a bundle deal on the website. If you want to buy two, I'm happy to give you guys a bundle price on the two of them. Um, and, and you could have two monitors here and do something like that. So once again, it's, it's another solution. It's something that we hope that you guys really enjoy. And uh, any questions, definitely reach out to us. We're happy to walk you through it. And we'll see you guys. Stay level.